Okay, so in my last video, I done a brief unboxing of the Mars 4 DLP. Now, since then, my Anycubic Photon D2 has actually arrived, and I just wanted to make a quick video because online I can't really see anything comparing the two models. Now, these are both DLP printers, and they're both within the same price category. So the D2 was around £500 on sale at the moment, and the Mars 4 DLP was about £475, so this one does come in a little bit cheaper. Now straight up, you might notice that the Mars 4 DLP is a little bit chunkier. If I lift this up, ugh, this one I could probably lift up with one arm. That one's definitely heavier. Now on the side we got the USB port, which is not the best position. For some reason these companies keep putting them on the side. The Frozen Mini 8K that I've got is on the front and that's way better. One thing I'll say about the D2 build plate, I need an engineering degree to put this thing together. Like, what is this? The Mars 2, you just screw it on. In fact, I'm a little bit surprised about the branding and marketing on the Mars 4 DLP because it only came out about, what, a few months ago? And um, it's kind of vanished off their website. They're not really promoting it in the same way they're promoting their other printers. The Photon D2 is the only DLP that um, Anycubic make, but they make a good job of actually marketing it as the Anycubic Photon D2. It's completely separate to the rest of their printers, but the Mars 4 is a bit of an oddball in their lineup because you've got the Mars 4, the Mars 4 Max, which is a 6K printer, which has just come out, which is a bigger version styled like this, but it looks different than their other Mars versions. So is their Mars going to be a DLP? No, because their other ones are monochrome screen. And now today I've just looked on their website and they've got the Mars 4 Ultra, which looks different to this, which is a 9K screen. So why did they release the 6K screen, which is a bigger version? But if you're going to get a bigger version, you'll just get the Saturn 2. That's, yeah, the Saturn 2, 8K. Mm. So I don't really know what the... Uh, the styling is behind this Mars 4. Um, it looks cool. And you know, obviously the DLP stands out from their other lineup, but the Mars the Mars 4 Max is not a DLP and it looks exactly the same. But the Mars 4 Ultra looks different. It looks like they're old the other style. Anyway. So the lid colours are just confusing me now as well because Elegoo has started putting black lids all of a sudden on their newer versions and any cubic I thought you could tell their DLPs by the blue lid but now they're putting blue lids on their printers on their other printers that are monochrome anyway that's our little rant over with so I want to try to capture the build quality of the Photon D2 so this has got a single linear rail and then the Mars 4 DLP again they've both got single rails. I must say that the build quality on the Mars 4 is definitely better, it's more robust. The vat is metal, the vat on this one's plastic and the way it slides in is a bit weird and then the build plate handle just feels really cheap, like this is the cheapest this is like the cheapest looking handle they could have found and then even putting it together it just didn't feel well Built like it feels cheap and small. I don't really know how to explain it. Like it feels like cheap metal, cheap thin metal, whereas the the Mars DLP actually just feels like their bigger ver a smaller version of their Saturn II. If I can get it off. Yeah, there's the build. Okay, so let's just do a quick rundown of the two. They're both 2K projectors. This one comes from Texas Instruments. Now I don't know where Elegoo gets theirs from, but whether or not they pay more for this one, I have no idea. They're both 2560 by 1440p 2K projectors, which I think is supposed to be 50 microns, but that doesn't compare to the monochrome screens because it's a completely different technology. From what I can see online is these print in a similar quality to the 8K screens or like something along the lines of the Sonic Mini 8K. 
Now, both of these machines use less energy than the Sonic Mini 8K. In fact, they actually use about five times less. So you could have five of the five of these to one Sonic Mini 8K. Now, these don't also need their screens replacing after like a year or two of printing. So now the screens can wear out on the monochrome ones, whereas on these got a lot longer life expectancy. So as for the build plate, the Mars 4 screws down in the same way that the Saturn 2 does. So you have these two screws on the either side and the VAT itself is metal. So this shouldn't get damaged by the resin that's left in there or if you get IPA on it, it shouldn't get damaged. Now I have seen some stories online about the plastic one in the D2 getting um, like the... the what's it called, the coating like flaking off, uh, so not sure about that, I haven't tested it myself, but it, this is plastic, this is metal. So the LCDs on these, uh, so the LCD screens on these, the Elgu one is about what, two and a half inches, and the D2 one is about two inches across, um, the Elgu one looks a little bit easier to touch, but again, if you only need to click print, who really cares? Um, the VAT is a little bit weird on this one compared to the other one. It kind of slides out, which is really strange. Not seen that on any other printer. Plus, there's no holes for the uh, screws to go into. It just kind of pushes down with pressure, which is, again, not really normal. So I guess you just sort of line it up roughly and screw down. Now, both of these machines, they both have single linear rails don't think that'd be a problem they both seem quite well secured maybe less so on the d2 uh, let's see usb on the side power and power d2 again usb on the back with the power so again there's not really much difference between the two machines the thing that elgu has added to all of their printers as well is these little usb ports on the back so if we pop up this little rubber grommet we can add one of these air purifiers so this comes in the box open this up you have to take out the plastic wrapper otherwise this will do literally nothing if you don't take the carbon filter out of the uh, plastic wrapping inside um, so that pops in there like that there we go we got a little air filter inside also on the back of the lid as well we got this little removable panel now I know that Elegoo is actually coming out with an air purifier, um, like a big unit, um, I think it's coming out soon, that attaches to these things. So you unscrew that and you can attach a pipe that goes into the, like a big air purifier unit. So if you're interested in that, then that's an option. Okay, so I'm going to put my ugly face in the video now. And to summarise, there's not much difference between the two machines. They both cost around the same cost. If you can get the D2 on offer, then yeah, they're about £500 in the UK. The Mars 4, the Mars 4 DLP, because I'll be careful what I say here, because there is a Mars 4 Max, which is not a DLP, and their new Mars 4, which looks different to this branding, it's got a different shaped lid, is a 9K screen, which has been released tomorrow, even though this only came out a few months ago and this has kind of been forgotten about and the Mars 4 6K has definitely been forgotten about because it's a bit bigger than this or sorry, than their normal Mars 4 is a bit bigger I guess that's why they called it the Max but then if you want a bigger printer you would just buy the Saturn 2 which is only about 450 quid anyway but then they're releasing a Saturn 3 Ultra tomorrow and a Saturn 3 and then you're going to have a I don't even know what's next. <laughs> Any Qubit, the D2, now they might come up with an upgraded version of this. This is actually quite old. The D2 come out, what, last year, I think? The build quality on the Mars 4 is definitely better. So it feels like a shrunken down Saturn 2, which I actually quite like the build quality on my Saturn 2. The build plate is nice and easy to put on. Um, it feels like a well-engineered piece of machinery. Um, it doesn't feel cheap. Now on the D2, this knob feels very cheap, so I had to, had to screw this bracket on before I could mount the knob. There's the build plate size, so 
So the Mars 4 is definitely a little bit bigger. I'm going to do some test prints tomorrow, see how they compare. Because really what this comes down to is print quality. Because you're taking a lot of sacrifices by buying a DLP in terms of maybe more of the build quality on the D2, less of the build quality on the Mars 4, but the print size is definitely a lot smaller. For example, my Mini 8K and my Mighty 8K, much larger build volume. But one thing I must say, if you're only printing small amount of miniatures, say if you're printing like a couple at a time, you don't really need a big build plate. And what I've actually found is my Mini 8K is the perfect size Whereas my Mighty 8K is a pain in the ass. I hate the machine. So handling the build plate on the Mighty 8K is actually a pain in the ass. I don't like doing it. Um, getting it off, resin flicks everywhere. Whereas the the, Mighty, the Mini 8K, it you can take the build plate off and still you know not worry about resin flying everywhere or the, dropping the build plate. Um, and again, with these things, if you're only printing off a couple of miniatures at a time, the smaller build plate on these two machines is perfectly fine. Unless you print off a massive statue or a fucking helmet, you know, you don't really need anything bigger than these DLP printers or even the Mini 8K. I found that everything I can print, I can print on the Mini 8K, whereas the Mighty 8K and the Saturn 2 haven't really needed to use that extra build volume. Yeah, you can print more at once, but it's like I said, it's a pain in the ass when you take that off. You know, if you have a failure, you've got five more models that have failed over like a Mini 8K, you know, if you have a failure on that, you've wasted less resin. So you've got to weigh up the pros and cons of those. Okay, so thanks for watching my video. Um, I'm gonna do some test prints on these machines tomorrow, just to find out if there's much difference between the two projectors. Because advertising, they both look identical. They're both 2K projectors, they're both 2560 by 1440, and they both say 50 microns even though that doesn't mean 50 microns like you would get on a monochrome screen. It's completely different. But I'm going to do some test prints. I'm going to see what the um, print quality is like between the two because in the unboxing sort of video slash review, the Mars 4 DLP definitely wins on one, build quality, and two, size of the um, build plate. So not much more for me to say.